I've made a scrapbook in your honor containing over 300 newspaper clippings. While I'm writing this, there are about 10 pictures of you staring at me. Between 1956 and 1958, millions of fans wrote letters to Elvis from around the world. Most were sent to companies contracted to send the fans photos of Elvis, but a few accidentally ended up on the desk of Elvis's private secretary, Trude Forscher. One of my responsibilities was to find out which ones were the business calls and which ones were the fan calls. Trude became secretary to Elvis the first week of production on Love Me Tender. For the next five years, she went from studio to studio as Elvis starred in Loving You, Jailhouse Rock, King Creole, and G.I. Blues. When Elvis finished a film, some fan letters would end up in the studio mailroom, who then called Trude and asked her to pick them up. Over the course of these films, she collected dozens of lost letters. She answered most of them, but a few ended up coming to her home by mistake and put away in a shoebox. Fifty years later, we found the box that contained these letters, unopened original fan letters from around the world. They came from Sweden, Japan, London, and Germany. They came from adoring fans wanting a photo, obsessed fans offering marriage proposals, and even from mothers offering Elvis sound advice on his career. All the King's Fans is a collection of the best of these letters, which include hand-drawn artwork, secret notes, and personal advice from an era long gone. The book also includes a transcript from an Elvis fan club from 1958 that really captures what was going on in America during the height of Elvis's meteoric rise. Those ordering the special collector's edition will not only receive the book months before others, but will also get a signed first edition. We hope you can be a part of making all the King's fans available to Elvis fans. And as the King would say, Oh, thank you very much.